Hey guys, how's it going? Today I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful background in Adobe Photoshop. So let's get started. First change uh, the background to black and unlock this layer. Then go to filter, render, different cloud. Before you do that, change the foreground, uh, foreground and background colors to black and white. And let's try again. And uh, that's good. Now create a copy and press Ctrl F to once again do the different styles and this and do soft light uh, on the background. Now let's merge these two layers, create a gradient mask, go to gradient like this black and white uh, gradient and now what I want uh, is a black and white I'll just press control I to reverse the mask so it uh, the visible area is in the center and create a new layer and place the, uh, this as a background. Now reduce the density a bit. Yeah, that, that's not okay. Now let's create another layer. Go to your brush tool and select this blue uh, color. Any blue color will do, but we're going to do blue and purple for the effect. You can try other colors if you want. And now let's dark a little. Now, after you've done this, go to blur, radio blur, and uh, choose the blur method spin and the quality best and the amount for the size. It will take a while. This creates this. Now let's go to blur, Gaussian blur, slide Gaussian blur. And that should do it. Now go to the blending mode and change it to linear dodge. And you know, maybe slightly decrease the opacity. Yeah, maybe a little more. And that should do. Now group these together with a copy and merge the group. Create another copy. And let's just try it and see which blending mode fits. I guess soft lines will work once again. It will add a slight bit of contrast. Well, this may look a little different from the, the one over here, but that is due to the different clouds being created and the color uh, being di differently distributed. Now, Let's create these dots, circles that you see that I, uh, that I created. Now, oh, sorry, but uh, before that, there's something that we should try do, and that is maybe increase the contrast a bit more and reduce the lighting. Yeah, that, that's better. Now, for this, you have to go to this uh, your brushless panel and first click on this the shape dynamics and it's, uh, make the size data 100% and scale the minimum diameter to 50%. Then click on sketching and increase the count to that, that should do it. And now let's reduce the size. Yeah, that, that should do. Now increase the spacing so they look like this, and voila, there you have it. Now go to this path tool, select the ellipse tool, and create this, and stroke brush. Oops, oops, oops sorry. Create a new layer add stroke 
Now, once again, I maybe change the color to white. Now, uh, okay. yeah. this creates this ring. Now, let's create a gradient mask. And once again, uh, go to the gradient tool and maybe, yeah, that should work. Basically, what you want is the tail to be disappearing. Now, click on filter glow. Yeah, this is optional. Like blue, if you want. Now for the text. It's not something difficult, but write anything you want. I will write the name of the gem. And I will just center this. Maybe increase the size of it. That should do it. And fly a slide or auto glow to this as well. Well, there you go, guys. I hope you like this tutorial. Uh, if you have any questions, please do ask them in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe and follow us on Instagram. Uh, check us out on Instagram and don't forget to subscribe.